Thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, the Premier showed startling ignorance when he claimed not to have seen the images of the ducks dying on the Sincrude's tailings lake. These pictures show the world the consequences of this government's environmental negligence in the development of the oil sands. My question is to the Minister for the Environment. Why is your government ignoring this problem instead of implementing a firm deadline for oil sands companies to eliminate these tailing lakes altogether? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, contrary to the uh, preamble in the question, the, this, this government is hardly ignoring uh, the issue. In fact, uh, we, have, we have stated very publicly and very em emphatically that it is our stated intention uh, to, uh, to eliminate the need for, uh, for tailing ponds in, uh, in oil sands production o o over a reasonable period of time, and that's probably seven to, uh, to nine years, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, uh, I think the government has no such plan. The photographs and the videos of what hang happened at Sincrude tailings lakes are an indictment of this government's failure to develop these oil sands in an environmentally responsible manner. Why does the government continue to ignore the problem instead of requiring oil sands companies to adopt alternative technologies like dry tailings, fluid extraction or ozone treatment? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, if the government was ignoring the problem, we wouldn't be dealing with a court case where the photos that the member references uh, were brought forward as evidence. That's hardly ignoring the situation, Mr. Speaker. We are and will continue to be committed to improve uh, the, uh, the, the technology that's employed. Mr. Speaker, there are, there are very, very promising uh, uh, technologies that, uh, in fact, uh, when I toured the University of Calgary just uh, uh, three weeks ago, uh, the, uh, the, the new faculty that, uh, that's just opened there has got all kinds of, uh, of very, very promising work underway that will significantly reduce the amount of uh, environmental impact on resource development. Honourable Member. Mr. Speaker, this government was forced into that, into that prosecution by private prosecutions that were brought by environmental groups. Albertans can ill afford a government that turns a blind eye to the biggest environmental embarrassment our province has ever witnessed. These images and videos expose this government's inability to balance oil sands development with environmental stewardship. So why won't this minister demonstrate to the world that his government is committed to solving this problem by implementing concrete deadlines to clean up tailings lakes and mandating the use of technology that would make them entirely obsolete? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I would advise this member that he should should stay tuned. He should, uh, he should watch uh, the, the, the progress as, uh, as we make it, and he may just find that, uh, that what he requests uh, may in fact uh, become a reality. The